Hello, welcome to Spurverse Part 2. I am still here with Smiv. Hello. This time we've got a transfer special, and at the moment we're talking about the fact that we are linked with Sporting Lisbon striker Islam Slomani, who is 27. The fee would be around £14 million. He scored 22 goals in 55 games for Sporting Lisbon, Algerian international. Any thoughts? You've seen much of him before? No, no yeah. I haven't. No. Me either. <laughs> Nothing at all, but £14 million. Pound. I mean, £14 million pound in this day and age could be a normal sort of fee for a transfer, but back in the day, 40 million was a hell of a lot of money, yeah, so I want to know what I'm getting. What am I getting for it? 22 goals in 55 games. In what country? In Sporting Lisbon. Which is, sorry, my geography is Portugal. Gone. Portugal. It's not the best Thank league God. in the world. Let's, <laughs> let, let, let's be honest, it's not the best no. league in the world, but you've got to start somewhere. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know about that one, you know. 22 goals in 55 games, is that good enough? I think he's a forward, isn't he? He's going to yeah. need to... You know, we need someone in that's going to challenge Harry Kane or compliment Harry Kane. If we're going to play the two up front with him or as a replacement for him. Or do we want someone who's going to be happy sitting on the bench when Harry Kane starts every game? And maybe Slavani with his 22 goals. To be honest, I, and, I never want to bring in a player that's going to be happy to sit on the bench. Yeah, I want a player enough. that's going to come into this team and want to, want to own it, want to grab that shirt and, you know, take on Harry Kane. Because that's what, you know, that's what the best clubs have. They have the yeah, best players enough. that compete for positions every single week. And... I mean, Harry Kane is, we haven't got any other strikers really, but can, no. I mean, you've got the, the, the Clintons and the Suns, but they're not really that out and out striker. I think yeah, we exactly. need someone else. Maybe the little guy. It's been a while since we've had the big and little guy. We've had the Robbie Keynes and the yeah, Defoe's the over the year. School, uh, do, we get that, logic. do we get that quick guy up front that can do that? Or is that a Clinton job? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah, you want someone playing off the big guy, don't you? Mm. Is Kane the big guy? We had Peter Crouch at one point. I mean, that's a really big bigger, guy. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, well. So Slimani wouldn't be your first choice, but you'd take a striker if he's willing to challenge and yeah, be up for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, um, Well, what are your thoughts on Pato? Because the Metro say we're now very close to signing Ale Alexandre Pato for 8.4 million from Corinthians. I think we should massively avoid Pato. Mm. I've just been around the block too long. He's never really lived up to the hype. I don't think Pato, I can just see him being another soldado for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm told he's 25. 25 -ish. I thought he yeah. was a lot older and I thought he was yeah, on his... he's been around forever. Yeah, I thought he was on, on the way out of his career, but like you say, he's been injured a lot. Is that is that going to be a problem for us as well? But no, for me, no, no. Just I don't no. want him. 8.4 million doesn't sound like much anymore though, does it? So no, I'd rather have the 14 million pound man who might score some goals. Exactly, yeah, yeah good idea. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, Tuto Makata Web. Um, it's an Italian website, Tutto Mercato Web. Thank God Craig Mitch isn't doing this one. Uh, in Italy, obviously we all know Tutto Mercato Web. You've got your, you're on Facebook every day, you're on Twitter, Tutto Mercato Web, Gmail. You're checking <laughs> everything, mate. You're online. Uh, BBC Sport, that sort of stuff. Uh, spurred on, Football Republic. Uh, Tutto Mercato Web in Italy say that uh, Kayasuk Honda of AC Milan tough name to pronounce, uh, wants to come to Spurs. Apparently Honda has said, well, according to Tutu Makata Web, we shouldn't have to keep saying that, Honda has said he wants to come to Spurs. Any thoughts on Honda? Um, I mean, it's great that he wants to come. Yeah. Does he, though? Is it his agent that's putting it Does exactly. he just want to come to the Premier League? Does he want to get into a team that's, you know, half decent? Does he want to get that bit more of European football? And does he want to get that step to a, a bigger club as exactly, their, yeah. his agents want? But I've seen a little bit of Honda for Milan, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He looks all right, but... Will, will he right. fit in? What's he going to bring? I mean, I, for the first time in many years, I'm really, really happy with this Spurs side. Yeah. I don't know about you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. And I don't see a place for many people. I don't, you know, it, we're going to have to get a big, big, big out and out signing. You know, we need someone. But it might big. help us get some uh, more sort of merchandise money, get in the Japanese market as well as the South Korean market with Hung Min Son. That's a good point, actually. So it might actually end up uh, financially. Be an ideal, and then we can sign a big signing off the back of the. How much uh, we signed him for? How much? No idea. Yeah, he just value? said he wants to come. I don't know if we're interested even, but uh, even yeah, I mean us too. I don't know if we're interested. I don't but. know if I'm overly interested. But no. now you mentioned the money and the the, the exactly. franchise and everything like that. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? So there's three signings that we're not that keen on. Uh, this has been our transfer special. It's in that period, though, of the year, isn't it, where yeah. they're just depressed, they're just going buck wild to try and just get <laughs> as many, <laughs> this is my new catchphrase, as many rumours out there as possible. I'm looking forward to when the window actually opens and it starts yeah. getting a bit more realistic and a bit more... Definitely. Who would you bring in if you could? Um, I do actually quite want Berahino, you know. Yeah. I think he'd be a great addition. I think he'd be really good. And we only, I think we only really need a striker. I feel exactly the same way. A striker to challenge yeah. 
yeah, Mr. And Kane up top. And that is probably going to be the Nick Transfer Rumours next week. Uh, this has been Spurbus. Let us know what you think of these players. If you've seen anything of Slomani or, um, you know, if you go on Tuta Makata <laughs> web every day, let us know what the vibe is on that website. Yeah. Uh, if we should sign up and be reading it more than we are. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you soon. First up, former Spurs midfielder Danny Murphy has said that Eric Dyer and Deli Ali are nowhere near the level that they need to be to be England internationals.